Okay, so for the next stage, for doing our um, zigzag stitch around the edge of the pieces for our drawstring bag, we are going to need to thread the machine. Now, um, we obviously thread it with the machine off, so just double check that the machine is turned off. And um, I'm using some white thread, so I'm going to thread the top thread first. So I place the thread on top of the machine, place the thread behind through this guide, then down underneath and then go up again we pass through here so the thread goes through this hole I'm going to place the thread behind this guide and then now the challenge sometimes is to thread the um, eye of the needle going from front to back now that was a bit easy. I have done this before. Okay, so now I've got my top thread. I'm going to open my bobbin compartment, take out my bobbin case. I'm going to put the bobbin, I've got white thread as well on this one. Put it inside the bobbin case. Oh, there's the end. I actually need to have the end of the thread out first. Okay, inside that. And then um, there's a little notch just here. And I'm going to put the thread through there and under this little metal plate and up through there. And when I pull, it should turn the bobbin around. I'm going to make sure I place my bobbin in with this little um, sticking up. And I'll make sure I hear the click. Oh, that one didn't click, but I'll just do it again. Well, this one doesn't click, but when you put it in, you must make sure that it doesn't um, move around. The uh, must stay facing up. Okay, now I need to bring this thread up to here. So leaving this open with the thread hanging out, I'm going to hold this thread with my left hand. I'm going to grab the hand wheel here. I'm going to turn towards me. I'm holding this, but not too tight. And I'm going to turn right until um, this part gets right back up to the top again. So for one full um, rotation. And then hopefully we'll see there's like a little loop come up here. And I just pull on the loop and that brings that bobbin thread up. Okay, now I can shut the bottom compartment. I like to put my threads through this little um, crack there on the side. And then I've got my two threads. Make sure there's enough there to um, make sure it doesn't get caught down inside um, onto the left. Okay, so now um, zigzag stitch. I'm just gonna check the tensions right there. Um, and I'm going to change my stitch width, which is this outer circle, not the inside, just this outside um, dial. And I'm gonna change this Two, I think we're gonna do about a two would be good okay and um, when I'm doing my zigzag stitch as the needle goes down into the fabric I want it to be going down into the fabric and then just on the edge of the fabric and as it goes it's going to be just going down on the edge every time it goes over to the right side as I go down because I want to make sure that it's um, got some stitching there to hold those threads in place I'm going to put my presser foot down and then just using the hand wheel I'm just going to check where the needle is going when I do that to make sure okay so I need to see how it's going in on the fabric I want it to just be off so I'm just going to move this a little bit over perfect that's just going off the edge um, of the fabric I'm going to turn my machine on now I'm just going to continue doing my zigzag stitch right on the edge just double check what that's doing mm -hmm. just making sure that I keep the edge of my fabric lined up with the middle of the presser foot there with that mark that's on it I'm go when I get to the edge, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to just lift up my presser foot, turn my fabric this way and then keep going.
when I'm done, I'm gonna make sure that this is in the highest position by turning the handrail. So this should be up in the highest position whenever you stop sewing. I'm gonna lift my presser foot, pull that out. I'm gonna use the cutter here on the side to cut my threads, okay? And um, as you can see, we've got um, the zigzag stitch going right along the edge there. to make sure I turn this back to zero.